So why don't we continue forward with a little bit more rough animation which is based off of our thumbnails from the previous video. Um, I've already done a few since then but we can continue on and follow the process along. In this video we'll show our thumbnails of our in our timeline by clicking this icon that is to the farthest of the, to the right and if you just hover it says show thumbnails just click that which coincidentally is also the name of my thumbnail layer and I'll show the thumbnails of my roughs and of course we can zoom in showing our a little bit better view of our thumbnails by using our keyboard shortcuts which by default are one and two and if that's not comfortable you can play with the slider the zoom slider which is down here at the bottom of the timeline and that way we have a bit more of a visual representation of what we're working with and so let's let's do this one right here yeah, that looks like a good spot. So let's just select that empty cell. I can even zoom in a little more if it helps you folks see what I'm working on. We can create a new drawing by clicking this button right here. Or if you're working in the X sheet, same thing, it's the same exact button. They both perform the same exact operation. Click in an empty cell and hit new drawing. And we can just start trying to tie this down a little bit. And it's helpful if we pull up our onion skin and I personally, this is one of my personal preferences, by def normally in the camera view we play with these handles to show more or less of our previous and next drawings, but I personally like to click on the menu icon of our timeline, go to onion skin, and onion skin by drawing. And we can add some, add some of our onion skin. I'm going to hit F5 on my keyboard to extend my previous. And right now, my just to reiterate again, my previous onion skin is a little on the dark side. I want to pull that back. I'll pull back my onion skin opacity a little bit right there and just hit OK. And let's start tying this down a little bit. We're not tying it down. Let's try and refine it a little bit more. And let's just try and find the character of her a little bit. And I'm just using, I'm just flipping back and forth. And again, I think I reiterate, said before that I'm keeping her umbrella pretty rough at this stage. I believe I'm just going to trace it back because it's more or less a solid object. So I'm really just giving it an indication of where I think it's going to be for now. And we'll move, we'll leave it at that at, for this stage of the game. Let's try and refine some of this a little better. And let's get that cranium in there a little clearer, a little bit more clearly, I should say. She's got that hair coming across her cheek, maybe the bit turned down of her nose there. Her eyes are closed in this particular drawing. And her hair has some drag to it and some drag in her hood too a piece of her hair kind of smooshed in there and idea of her shoulder in there and let's think about this arm so in the thumbnail I can see already that I have the cuff below the wrist but I feel like there should be drag in there huh so let's just delete that there we go and there's gonna be some drag so I'm gonna change my change what I had in my thumbnail okay it looks good okay And we're just kind of refining a lot of what we already have in here. She has that center line. And so dealing with her legs in this particular design, they're kind of tubular and they're thin. And her hips are kind of wide set. So dealing with this part is a little problematic. And I think I can solve that by giving a little bit more of an 
or like looking down into her boot so that just kind of helps give it a little bit of rotation and let's try and get those feet planted using the onion skin down there to help guide us so at least now it's a little more solid for this phase okay and so now let's pull the, the, the drag now in this particular drawing is kind of reverse so if our drag was happening here now it's being pulled down as gravity is taking hold of her her soft bits like her hair and her clothing and let's try and make sure that cranium is in there nice and solid and here's some more soft bit her hair so now I only I only have an indication of where her eye line is I'm not quite sure maybe her eyes should definitely be open maybe the brows are kind of coming down a little bit a little looking up looking up like that all right that smile may be a bit too big maybe that mouth is a bit big but we'll we'll come back to that and we'll revisit and again our drag is happening in the reverse so let's get the idea of where her body is and again there's some more drag on her skirt and let's get a little bit of a drag on the bottom of her raincoat kind of leading a little bit with that screen right shoulder okay good uh, so let's take a look at this previous look at the idea I think her hand will be bent like this and maybe in this drawing maybe a bit more where we have a frontal view of it perhaps this arm may be a bit thick but we'll revisit and now I feel like the hand and the sleeve here again the, the soft bits if you will are dragging her hand and fingers are dragging the sleeve is dragging and she's leaning with her screen left leg so this this is her leg behind in the back which her pelvis is around there somewhere that joint is around there there we go all right that feels pretty good and again I'm gonna pop it in the I'm going to trace it back. So right now we're just going to get an idea of where I think the umbrella will be. Okay. Whoops. Feels pretty good. How about we go to our next thumbnail? We'll click in there. We'll click in this empty cell up here. And you notice if I just start to draw, um, Harmony automatically creates a new drawing for me if I do not expressly hit create new drawing harmony is smart enough that it will create a new drawing and you may have noticed it filled in the exposure for me and let's just do this last we'll do this last one so we'll get three roughs in there her head maybe i don't know this shoulders up this arms kicking forward propelling us forward and again the drag on her sleeve now is happening this way that's the direction of our drag this arm can be kind of back there somewhere uh, maybe something like this again we'll streamline this part going into the thumb going around into the hand something like that and I'm not 
quite sure on maybe the hair can be something like that this is our screen left leg overlapping the other leg just using my easy flipping toolbar to go back and forth between drawings up here hand in there like so. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that could do okay for now. Maybe I'll just have one little piece of hair sticking up on top and the rest of it can kind of be more pushed, flattened against her cranium. Well, I think that's going to do it for now. I think that's going to wrap this video up for now. We just went over how we created new drawings, how extended our exposure. We showed our thumbnails so we can easily and quickly reference where we were in time. And we used our onion skin to see our previous and next drawings. You can see the next in the light green, our previous in the red. And we used our easy flipping toolbar. For now, I'm, since I'm just kind of occupying myself with just one or two drawings, I'm just using these arrows, these left and right arrows, to thumb through my drawings with, if you will. Let's fix this. There we go. See that? <laughs> Very handy when you flip through. You start seeing all kinds of mistakes. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, I will see you in the next one.